Good morning. Welcome to another edition of Take 5. My name is Wayne Hawkins. Glad to be with you here today. It is September 13, 2012, and I am attempting to do these every day again. I no longer have a roommate, and that makes a lot of difference. We are in John chapter 15. In some ways, a controversial section of scripture as much of what Jesus said is but uh, it shouldn't be I don't think and it's pretty easy to understand we're gonna go through it one verse at a time alright for five minutes here we go John chapter 15 verse 1 I am the true vine and my father is the vine dresser alright the vine is where the fruit comes from let's get that straight right now you got to get verse 1 to understand the rest of this. I think that's where the controversy has come in. We don't understand verse 1. The fruit comes from the vine. Everything comes from the vine. And God is taking care of the vine. The vine is Jesus. God's in control of Jesus. Jesus is acting as a vine attached to God. He is the source. Let's get that. All right. If you have to stop this video right now and really get that, you need to. If I'm if I go on and you haven't quite got verse one, you're not going to understand the rest. All right. But we're going to try now to go to verse two. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes that it may bear more fruit. Now, if, if this verse is causing you trouble, go back to the first verse. Where does the fruit come from? Not the branch. The fruit comes from the vine. The branch is just there. The branch is attached to the vine, but... If, if the branch is attached to the vine, it'll bear fruit. It's just part of the vine. But he's saying, every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. Why? Because it's not really part of the vine. It might look like it's part of the vine, but it's not really attached to the vine. And if you've ever seen a vine, you know, in Florida we had grapevine in our backyard. There are things on there that look like branches but they're really not and they're, they could be weeds they could just be sticks okay they sometimes could be bugs they look like branches but they're not branches if they were branches they'd be producing the fruit that the vine gives them but that's what the vine dresser does see he takes care of that vine and he takes away these things that aren't really branches that's the point so every branch that does bear fruit he prunes that it may bear more fruit now you got a real branch a real branch that's really attached to the vine but there's just things about that branch that just have to be dealt with still good branch still attached to the vine but not producing all the fruit that it could okay and, and let's let, let's just uh, get real clear what we're talking about here. When talking about bearing fruit, we're just talking about being a, a disciple, doing the things a disciple does, repenting of your sins, sharing your faith, reading the Word, you know, living a Christian life. That's all. It's, you don't get too specific on this thing. You get you get all you know weirded out. We're probably just going to do these two verses here. But let's talk about this situation. So you've got some things that look like branches, but really aren't. They're just gone. We just get rid of them. Then you got others that are really branches, but they're not doing everything they should. Well, what God does then, see, this would be a Christian who's not living up to their full potential, and that could be all of us. Or it could be us at different times. Well, then the pruning comes in, and that pruning is uh, letting some trials come in your life, letting you deal with some situations that, that make you have to deal with the stuff going on inside your heart. Once that pruning takes place, you'll be more used by God. And that's the whole idea of the branch, is to be used by the vine. Remember, where does the fruit come? The vine, not the branch. The branch is not really important in the thing. 
God can grow more branches. The vine can grow more branches. God can put more branches. He can do that, you know. Be, be grateful if you're a branch that God has engrafted you into this vine. And you'll see that in Romans if we ever get there. But, but uh, you know, it's an honor and privilege to be on the vine. But don't think you're any big deal because you're a branch, because you're not. So, listen, the, the fellowship I came from really whacked this passage all to pieces and messed a lot of people up by teaching it uh, completely wrong. And uh, if you're one of those who have gotten the wrong teaching, well, just look at what I've just said and see if that does not line up right with everything else we've been teaching about Jesus and line up correctly. And if I'm wrong, please let me know. Please let me know. I want to go by what this Word teaches, not, why, not by what I've been taught all my life or by what some other church says. Okay, I've got to study the Word for myself, and I know I went wrong. But this, is, this for some reason, is very controversial and people get all hung up on the, the cutting off of the branch and all that. It's, it's, it's really not that hard to understand. Real branches are attached to the vine and they produce fruit. The false branches they just get taken away. Alright? Anyway, come back tomorrow for the next edition of Take 5.